that skill. Very true. Yeah, let's see how we get into this first game. Opting to go to Battlefield. Nice right there. Peanut off to a very strong start. And this is what you want to do. You want to keep Bowser want to here, do. just never allow him to hit him. Do anybody. not let, do not let him get any sort of control. And Peanut's doing just that, keeping that pressure going. Maybe Let's finally gets a chance to land. But the right platform now. is not really his friend in this world, but not at all. Gonna punish that unsafe hit on Shield. They're gonna get the. What was that up though to fair? Oh, Carol punch online. Up B, though, that will go ahead and reset the situation. That's kind of what you want to do. You want to burn the timer on KO Punch yep. after a set amount of time. Oh, caught Peanut napping on the ledge there. That's going to take that stop. One of Bowser's big strengths is covering edge. And, and I feel you like... See Peanut doing that a lot, too. Yep, for sure. And I feel that, like, in this match specifically, um, Mac can definitely get a lot of kills really early with his moves. I feel Bowser, since he... Oh, well, he's dead. But <laughs> <laughs> since Bowser lives so long, it feels like those confirms will definitely take one more... One more, to, one more than they normally would, and I feel in that scenario, that can give Schnickley an opportunity to bring games back or even like increase his depth, it increase his leads. But right now, he's currently once again technically losing the situation. Got a little weak game going on though. I don't, I don't know. Whenever the characters are at like the similar percentage, I, I just say Bowser's winning. This character, <laughs> this character, heavy. I don't know. Like uh, with a little map with KO punch, uh, it might be, it might be even in this regard. <laughs> oh, very nice, very nice for Schnickley there, just. Baiting, baiting his movement there. Going to hit him with a forward tilt. Take away that KO punch. Ooh, nice comeback right there. I'm just kind of surprised that, like, we know the Peanut loves Battlefield, but against Bowser, this is one of his better stages. that's a very unfortunate air dodge there. You can't do that against Bowser. That F tilt's going to catch you every time. Nice patience from over there. Weak footstool. I don't think he was trying to Yeah, I don't that. think he was trying to go for that. <laughs> God. Love to see it. Love, love to see flame. Love to see getting hit and get out of flame breath. I just love it. Oh, tries to counter his up B. Not a, not a bad option to do, honestly. Ward still gonna cover the get up, up though. That's yep, gonna take it just barely. And once again, last stock. And KO punch is actually getting close to being. Yep. Okay, that's good. That's gonna be tough. No way, Snigly just trying for like a half stage forward smash. Like, please help us it. I just wants to get back on stage. Gonna get that command guy for it though. KO punch online. That just wait it out. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Ooh, ah. Uh, Good move by Schnigley, just recognizing that you, you cannot hit a button out of yeah, that. Just jump just, away. Yeah, jump. Peanut's just looking for that. Just looking for that stagger. Looking for that stagger situation. Ooh, but he's not gonna get a very nice sliding F tilt from Schnigley there. So let's see if he can get up. Ooh, nice parry. Gets a forward tilt himself. Yeah, and, and then again, yep. you can't hit buttons can't from hit edge. Can't hit buttons from ledge against Bowser. That. I believe his forward tilt does have armor, correct? Um, I don't know that it has armor, but it has such a big hitbox that it can cover jump, it can cover get up, and it can cover roll after okay. when you just get back up. You can just go ahead and pivot, grab yeah, it. Yeah, it is a very big move for sure. Like You don't want to be hitting buttons against him on the ledge no, in sir. general. Like, you can't hit buttons on the ledge, can't hit buttons on the shield. You got to be very, very smart with your approaches against Bowser because he is a big boy. But he hits back hard. <laughs> oh yeah, and he he actually has frame data. Like that's yeah, he has one. frame data. Like they gave a heavyweight frame data. Like that's mm -hmm. that on its own is f terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Heavy with quick moves, both out of shield oh, and really man. just in general. His aerials are really great punish tools. The problem the with Bowser is that if you are in the lead and you are not in a pressure spot to go ahead and hit buttons against Bowser, he crumbles. He crumbles. We're gonna see whether or not Peanut can make Schnigley crumble in the second game. Right now we're just seeing just seeing uh, a bit more patience out of Peanut just just inching his way forward, really only using forward tilt. Got Snigley wherever he wants him, get stage control. Ooh, but he's gonna he's gonna be a bit too impatient that he's gonna get him the dash attack, he's gonna be able to reset the situation, and that flame breath is gonna help him even the percent. He has tons of damage from flame breath too. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a potent move. I'm surprised that uh, Peanut is having some trouble two framing with this Bowser. Usually he's so good with that. Really? Sometimes, like, if your tempo's off once, it just slows you off the rest of the game. Ooh. That's had a stagger, but couldn't get much off of it. He's going to get that okay. counter, though. KO punch now online. Let's see if he can land that kill without using it. And Shinobi just waiting it out. Baiting it out. Just got to recognize the situation. And very nice, very nice counter. There. Ooh. Still has a very large gap in percent to catch up to, but... 
Ooh, I'm surprised that Forza didn't catch him up in there. And this is the thing, is like even though oh, you're yeah. 78 percent, you are a kill percent here. But Peanut able to clear away the rage yep. from Stingley. So Caught Stingley trying to trying to jump all the boy from that forward tilt on the first time, but gets killed the second time. Oh, doesn't get the fair. Does call out the jump, just misspaced that forward air. He's gonna hit that forward air though. Very nice counter for Peanut there. Oh, oh. Triple down tilt, okay. but no forward tilt to connect there. Oh, I feel Peanut wanted the ledge jump there, but Schnigley uh, didn't recover as quickly as he anticipated. I could be wrong though, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Regardless, you know, it still has a has a good percent lead. Hasn't even been touched yet. And these Ooh. ledge traps are just picking up the pace yep. now. Picking up the pace, yeah. Peanut's definitely getting into that rhythm. That flame yeah, that's gonna 30 damage at least. 340 damage, you know. Let's don't don't let's not let's don't <laughs> underestimate that. True, true. We don't got a low ball here. <laughs> but that down to the fourth. Yeah, he's getting a, an option. Yeah, he's getting a lot of mileage off that down tilt. I feel Snigley's just being a bit bit too passive on the ledge. Like I feel when you're playing someone like Bowser, I feel you, you kinda have to afford to be a little bit more reckless in those situations since you're a heavyweight, you kinda just have to take that risk. But right now, Peanut's just piling on this damage right now, just keeping him at the ledge for the majority of this game. Very impressive. And again, you, you... Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, feel he did one, I feel he did one down tilt too many. But, I could see that. But regardless, he still has a he has a big lead in this game. Just needs to just needs to continue to do what he's been doing. Yeah, Shigley's just taking way too much time on that ledge. <laughs> It's not gonna take no, it just no, yet. No. Bowser's a big boy. He's down at the bottom of the stage as well. That's nice very over there. Man Great grab. coverage. Very good too. coverage. Oh, he had him. He just slightly misspaced it. Oh, I think Peanut ran into that edge of the hitbox there. Snigly just slowly inching his way back though. Once again in the situation, doesn't want to be here. See if can option. Oh, again, yeah. No. Once again, yeah. Snigly's just taking so much time on the. On the on the ledge, I feel like he's trying to like mix up Peanut's internal time. Peanut doesn't care; like he's just gonna continue to do. He's just gonna continue to do that. In addition, for the, you, those of y'all who are not aware, the amount of time you have where you are invulnerable at edge decreases as you take damage. So when Bowser's at like 150, you you have to choose something. You have to get up because if you wait that out, the amount of time that you have, Peanut can just dash in and then just down tilt, down tilt, down tilt. And if you delay it, if you use and lose your invulnerability, Peanut's gonna get a free hit. So we're gonna be going Battlefield for game three, so we're gonna be sticking with Battlefield the whole way through. Let me see if up tilt Boogie can stop getting hit with those down tilts. <laughs> yeah, this is pivotal game three. I'm not surprised that we're sticking Battlefield too, no, because sure. this is one of Bowser's, if not Bowser's best stages. Yeah, both, care, get both characters have gotten a lot of mouth at the stage as well. Let's see that flame breath. Let's see that forward tilt. All reliable. Ooh, probably could have definitely punished that. Oh, wow. Hot trying for the hard confirm right there, 62. Yeah, he, he was going for the hot one. He knows what he's not. He knows he's on TV. Look at that like man grab, though. Stream. KO punch nearly online. Let's see if Lil Mac can get it without losing his stock. There it is. Can he get off this? Yes, he will. Very nice patience for Peanut. Unfortunate Snigley just I feel Snigley thought he was gonna get that flame birth hit, but once he once he saw that it was getting shielded, just delayed the inevitable there. Very nice counter from Peanut there. Gonna see the flame birth come out once again. Command grab, yes sir. But great GI right there by Peanut. He went ahead and decided he's gonna go far forward so he doesn't get hit by the top flat. And it doesn't quite save him though, still at kill percent. That's the benefit of Bowser on this stage. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Shinobi did a really good job just uh, covering Mac approaching just with the command grab. Just very big. The hitbox, I believe on like when you do the pivot, pivot grab or something like that, the hitbox is relatively large. <laughs> and if Peanut throws out a hitbox, it even extends that greater. But oh my. Once again, like, Shinobi, Peanut's just getting a lot of knowledge. He's getting down to at the ledge. Have, have we seen him do a get up attack once yet? No. Don't. I feel he's afraid of him because of Max Armor. True, but if it's down tilted that Peanut's yeah. tossing out, then that does not have armor. You can claim oh, that. There we go. The second that I mentioned it, and the second he it. goes for it, Peanut's just like, all right. <laughs> exactly. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, definitely. Peanut doing a much better job in games two and three compared to game one, but Schnigley just kind of allowing this all to happen, like just being way too passive on this ledge once again. 
He's just letting him be able to down tilt him now. Finally, yeah, he's finally, trying to time the finally, dash. That's yeah. what he's doing. Yeah, he's trying to time the dash, but I feel like Peanut's just like being a bit stubborn here or mixing up with rhythm just ever so slightly. Doesn't get the not kill either. Not enough rage. Nice tech there at the ledge. Doesn't get the down smash too far. Wow. <laughs> that hits. Okay. Today I learned. Okay. Like, I, I, I thought that, that Peanuts, like, the hurtbox manipulation when he, like, reels down to do the up I punch. Thought, yeah, I feel like he hit the tip of the up his fist. That's probably what happened, but, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I have nothing else to say about that. Now, Peanuts actually changed it up. Now, yep. Snigley is doing the get-up attacks, and Peanut is backing off and getting the forward tilt. But there, yep, it is. there it is. Now he does the down tilt. Great change-ups by yep. Peanuts. Goes for the body blow, and then he immediately gets that handle. Yep. Snigley definitely was feeling very off-tempo at that legend. Peanut was aware of that just toyed with him at that point. I mean, it took him so... He had so many opportunities to do a get-up attack earlier. Like, yeah, he just didn't, he didn't do it. Do and it, like, I feel like it. once he figured out, oh, I can do that, Peanut was thinking the same thing, and he was exactly. like, all right, time to mix it up, and very solid stuff from Peanut. Perfect. He's going to be moving on in this loser's bracket. Good stuff to him, and good set to, for both players. So, Schnigley making a new appearance in top eight. Congrats to him, but unfortunately, that is going to end his, his run, run right there. Very, very nice run at that. So, let's see who we have so far for the rest of the bracket. I know that we have Pink Fresh versus ZD for winners, winners final. finals. Absolutely. Dexter has two owed AOS and loses quarters offstage. So we are now going to have most likely either we're going to go for winners finals or we're going to see Kyle versus Peanut for lose the other side. I of believe I saw Pink Fresh heading to the stage, so we might be seeing right. winners finals. So we're going right into winners finals. That will be a best of best five. Best of five. We're Evo out here, boys. <laughs> Don't you know?